Amidst the busy streets and the wild monsoon seasons, lies an oasis away from it all. International School Dhaka. International School Dhaka was founded in 1999 as an educational institution which was a first of its kind. The campus is spread over five and a half acres of land in Bushundara, in a new residential area in north of Dhaka. ISD's provision of space and myriad facilities are its main attraction given the city's rapid development. ISD offers an IB education. We are recognised by the Bangladesh Ministry of Education and accredited by the Council of International Schools, CIS, the New England Association of Schools and Colleges, NEASC, and authorised by the International Baccalaureate Organisation, IBO. We offer all three IB programmes, the PYP, the MYP and the DP. We believe in holistic education. Besides academic studies, our co-curricular programme is a strong one. As we are endowed with space, the school has taken full advantage of it and offers an outdoor swimming pool, a basketball court, playground, musical and drama facilities, and a state-of-the-art auditorium, which accommodates an audience of 360 members. These are open to all members of the community. Community, a word which is practiced in ISD. We believe when a new teacher, student, parent or any staff member comes along, we have formed yet another alliance in our ISD family. We currently have over 60 international teachers who have come to Bangladesh to continue their passion for teaching. It is our duty to make them feel at home and that is demonstrated by the relationships that are created along their journey here. This is how some of us travel to and from work every day. Thank you. If the traffic's good, then it takes about 25 minutes from where we live, where the foreign housing is, to the school gate. Actually today, I didn't come by rickshaw, I came by bicycle, and it took just 10 minutes. My name is Martin, and I teach secondary English here, and I'm the CAS coordinator as well. I'm in my fifth year here at ISD, and uh, you may be thinking, why have I stayed so long? Well, Dhaka, like any big city, has its problems and ups and downs. But the main reason for me is that I enjoy being with the Bangladeshi people and I enjoy this school and I enjoy the students and the, the colleagues that I work with in this school. I'm in my third month of living in Dhaka, Bangladesh. And so far, things are going well. Um, but there are certainly challenges that we're having to deal with, just like anywhere. Um, there's lots of power outages, so that's something that you need to get used to. Um, things just don't really work exactly the way they do at home, so that takes some getting used to. Uh, but over, overall, I'd say we're adjusting very well. And having grown up overseas and traveled a lot as a little girl, the challenges, you just remember at the end of the day, I'm really glad that I did that. So I'm sure that that will be the case in uh, Dhaka. And we've definitely made our place home. So we have a beautiful apartment that we can go back to at the end of the day. The first thing that I would mention is the pool at ISD. ISD has one of the best pools in Dhaka and a lot of teachers and a lot of students and their families really take advantage of it. So you can finish off a day of work and then you can just go and jump in the pool and swim your laps and get exercise and it feels amazing. Uh, another thing is the clubs, the diplomatic clubs that are throughout Dhaka. And most teachers tend to have a membership to one of the clubs. I think one of the things that I can say about ISD is that they really support their teachers and they really want their teachers to um, understand the PYP and be able to successfully implement that within the classrooms. So, uh, for example, I had been sent away for a PYP training course within about a month of arriving in Dhaka and the administration tries to do that and send teachers off right away if, they're, if they don't have any previous experience so that you can come back and work with your kids and, and really understand what the school is about and, and what kind of curriculum we're trying to implement throughout the elementary school. 
Most teachers live in areas of Gulshan, Baridhara and Bonani. They are mainly residential, with ample facilities here and there. We, the teachers at the International School of Dhaka, are provided transport to and from the school every day. This is the incredible Apollo Hospital, which is literally right next to the school. All teachers at the school have insurance coverage with the Apollo Hospital, and we can literally go next door for treatment if we need it. Okay, this is uh, Baridara, where most of the teachers live. As you can see, it's a beautiful area. Um, close by in Dhaka, there are shops and uh, shopping malls for those people who want an upmarket shopping experience with boutiques and so on. The food in Bangladesh is fantastic, but if you want a special night out, uh, there are, of course, international cuisines uh, available in local restaurants. Welcome to the teacher's apartment. The apartments are spacious and comfortable. The area of Baridara is one of the poshest areas in Dhaka. The security here is great, as it is mainly a residential area. One of the several elements for which we are proud to be working in ISD is the social and community work that we undertake. We want to lead the students in the way of compassion and matters in this world which are permanent. Before anything, we must teach them the significance of being a good human being. Through an array of community and social work, all of which is initiated by teachers and students, we hope to reach the true potential in every global citizen that we help to educate. Teachers are welcome to establish concepts that they think will be beneficial for the students as well as the society at large. ISD welcomed the Council of International School CIS, with a group of top-rated US universities to exhibit for students. Students and parents from different schools were invited to partake in the discussion sessions. A new concept had been introduced this year, that of a UN Week celebration. The week ended with performances representing different countries by both the teachers and students. Shadhana Shongskriti, a platform which strives to promote performing arts in Bangladesh, held a theatre performance on the popular story Tasher Desh by Rabindranath Thakur. ISD's provision of space and other facilities attracts several events from external sources. Entertainment to the ISD community has always been welcomed by the school. Bangladeshis are naturally amicable and are eager to assist foreigners in any way possible. That's right. There we go. All right. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Oh, there we go. There we go. Education today requires the leaders of tomorrow to be internationally minded, to be culturally sensitive, and to be socially aware. We believe at ISD that these attributes are encapsulated in our mission statement, through which we educate our students to be responsible and compassionate lifelong learners committed to a sustainable future.